six yeah, that's of the questions. <laughs> I, think, I think reading and writing is in the 90%. All right, Dennis, here we go. Uh, Dennis is on hold. He can yeah, hear the he answers. Hear. It actually once snowed in Cuba. What year was that, Dennis said? 1932, Jim. Pinkman. 1982. 1857. Damn. Dennis gets that point. What percent of Cubans have access to the Internet, Dennis said? 20%. Pinkman. 10%. 5%. Wow, Pinkman ties it up. The U.S. pays Cuba how much per month to rent property that houses Guantanamo Bay Naval Base? Dennis said. 400000 a month. Pinkman. $3 million a month. It's $4,085. Dennis well, is cheap. closer. It's two to one a month. President Kennedy bought how many Cuban cigars before the U.S. trade embargo took effect? Dennis said. 3,000 cigars. Pinkman. 200. It's 1,200. That would be Dennis, three to one. Wait, no, 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 no. Only it's a Pinkman. thousand away. Oh, sorry. He's eighteen hundred away. Math. That's right. Oh, uh, math, 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 math. Tie game. What? It's a tie game, two to two. What percent of Cubans can read and write? Dennis said. Here we go. Dennis said fifty percent. Pinkman said sixty percent. As a matter of fact, Cuba has a higher rate of literacy than the United States. I had a feeling. Ninety-nine point eight percent of Cubans can read and write. 